Hey guys and welcome back to another Alchemy Styles video. Today we are going to go through, kind of not a guide, but it kind of is. It's a mix of it, <laughs> but we're going to go through the new um, secret territory right here. I can't remember what, when you unlock this. I'm pretty sure it's around chapter 2, chapter 3. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking through this. Honestly, it's not hard at all, at all, and what it kind of is, is just going through levels up a level, um, following a path that you want to choose, um, and just taking on whatever that, these sort of plates, I guess you could say, um, or enemies there are on them plates, um, and you get rewards for it. It doesn't take up stamina, it takes up the this new MS which you can get from the um, Colossus uh, or from the hangar I guess you could say or from the bridge um, you can get them from there after a certain so like a time base it's same as stamina system but you collect it from there um, and it doesn't take up too much anyway um, it takes less and less depending on how many turns you take per the plate or per plates um, but yeah so it doesn't take up stamina the only thing that it does do is it takes away, like, it takes recognition of your character's health. So as soon as you take on one plate, uh, your character's health will go down and whatever it's gone down to will stay at that health um, for the next plate and then so on. So there are certain plates where it can heal you. So this plate here in the middle with, like, the type of wave sort of thing, um, that plate heals your character's um or has a chance of healing your characters or or if your character so died you can revive your character there um, or you have a chance to um, and then so you get rewards from this what you want to do is obviously the harder the the plate the more reward you get um, so the harder plates are obviously the dual, so the dual swords uh, compared to the single swords um, so you want to take the hardest route or route that you can take um before you get to the end because you want more of the rewards now i took the mistake of not doing this um and i was just going for anything just to speed through this because i didn't realize there was only five levels um if there, if i knew that before i would have just took the harder routes every single time um but i didn't um but there are these other plates where you have this plate here which kind of looks like a, a cannon or something i'm not too sure I don't remember what they are called either, um, but you have them plates and you also have treasure chest plates um, and they also both give you rewards. So this plate here that you can see the cannon sort of plate is like a bonus round so you can take, you get like resources by doing the level inside the level, um, so you kill a certain amount of enemies, you get a certain amount of rewards back, uh, something uh, similar to that. And then the treasure chest is obviously you just go onto it and you receive rewards for free from it. Um, it's a cool sort of level, the treasure chest is just like a massive chest in the middle and you just have to follow a route round and clicking on all the buttons that are there. There's no enemies, um, so yeah, it's kind of cool, um, but yeah. So another thing you get is relics. Now relics is like bonus stuff, so if you played any sort of roguelike sort of game, you do get bonuses throughout the rail. Um, so every time you do one, you get a choice, a choice out of three um, relics. These are actually really helpful, so be wise on what you decide to choose. Um, personally, the Silver Moon bundle are really good. So you have like sort of uh, bundles of what they are called. So you have like floating bundles, which are really, really good um, in this, and they just help out your character a lot. So as you, see, as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see, it says hovers around an Aurorian uh, and deals one forest or any element damage when the captain attacks. So that's actually really good. So you get an additional attack, which is really good. Um, so that's for obviously you want to pick up whichever characters you are using. So obviously I was using water mainly um, and I had a forest unit on the side anyway. Um, so I decided to pick that one up. Um, and then the Silver Moon Bundle is definitely what you want. So the Silver Moon Bow inflicts slow on all small 
monsters. Um, Silver Moon Machete is minus 10% in initial HP of all small monsters, so it makes them less uh, beefy, I guess you could say, or less HP than usual. And then minus 10% uh, percent attack of all small monsters, so you uh, gain a minus attack, or they gain a minus attack on you, um, so they deal less damage, which is also really good. So the Silver Moon Bundle is really, really good, and I recommend picking them up. Um, Pretty much as soon as you can in the secret uh, territory um so the s rank relics obviously s rank they're going to be really good anyway but it kind of it kind of decides on how you're playing it and what your playstyle kind of is in this i kind of just went for anything because um, i wanted to learn more after i guess before um i even done it so maybe they're doing it again the next week and there's going to be more levels or something like that because it does end in roughly four days or just under four days um so the luminous shield obviously some of them are going to help with certain characters so this helps with the healing characters or support characters you have ultimate piercer which is sniper orient normal attacks eliminate any shield and eclipse sight uh has so your snipers gain bonus um like the normal attacks eliminate any shields with there are a lot of shields on uh, these levels, especially on the high levels, um, on the plates. Some, well, most enemies have shields, so you do want that. Um, leave a bomb, or the shout boost, leaving a bomb where your movement started, that detonates. Uh, that's kind of cool. I thought it sounded pretty cool, so I went for that. Um, so, yeah. There's not too much of a stuff. He, honestly, the... Sniper is really good because you want to use Vice, which is what I use. You want Vice as your captain, as she's got in, just insane range and can hit ev like every single enemy on the, the, the like the floor um, after every round, which is really good. So you want that, and then you want sniper bonuses on top of that. It's just really broken. Um, so yeah, you can't. You just want relics that help out your characters, and then besides that, you want the floating relics that will be on the characters. Or benefit the characters that you are using uh, the element that you are using and then the silver moon bundle you need the silver moon bundle you don't need it but i highly recommend using the silver moon bundle um whenever you can um so yeah you also get these materials because text fragments from completing the plates obviously the harder ones you do the more text fragments you get um personally you can get star flares, you get two star flares, so it's easy for 2,000. By the end of you done level 5, you should have at least 10,000 text fragments, so you should be fine there. Um, and like I said, it's not too difficult, so you can just do it in one go. That's what I did, I just did secret territory all in one go. Uh, you can use any character you want. Uh, it doesn't take recognition of your character, only the ascension levels. Um, so if you've ascended a character, obviously it keeps the bonus attack and stuff, but if you've leveled up the character and it's not ascended, the level doesn't matter. Um, it just matters on the skill you have with the character is pretty much what it is. Um, so I recommend in the store getting the furnitures for your Colossus and the Star Flares for now. Um, and then whatever you've got left, these are gifts that you can give to your characters. So I guess kind of just give gifts, buy gifts that you want for maybe a certain character you want to uh, level up the affinity for um, so yeah that's pretty much it for the secret territory so what we are going to do I do have a lot that I can do for summoning right now because I've been clearing the game currently on chapter 5-2 um, it's not too high compared to many people that I have seen or compared to a few people that I have seen um, I know some people have already beat the game now and I uh, some people have also got to 714 which is crazy and you unlock a brand new thing uh which is a really good really good thing which i'm hoping to get to and do a video on um but yeah let's just go straight into the recruit and honestly i'm still decisive on what i want to spend it on i don't know if i want to go for uriel because i know i'm not really focused on the fire units yet but she is a limited banner um or i go for carlene and try get some dupes for her um because you do need dupes for her to level up her um breakthroughs um, so I'm not too sure on that yet, but I most probably will just go for Carlene. Um, I will decide that after these pulls. So I have 20 of these star flares, 
just for playing through the game. I'm not wailing. It's just playing through the game. Same as the Lumambas. I've just been playing through the game. I haven't wailed yet. Um, but yeah. Let's just go through these. Hoping for Sharona or Rachel, I think you can get in this. Or Raphael, that you can get in this game. Um, so yeah. Or in this banner. Sorry, not in this game. So we're looking for the Dark Orange. It is not a Dark Orange, unfortunately. Okay. I hear Brock's really good. I have tried out Brock and he, he does seem pretty good for a full star. Okay, here's our five star. You got Faust. A, okay, that's new. I thought it was a dupe, but that's on my other account. Um, but yeah. Honestly, I don't mind dupes. I want to try to get as many dupes as I can, to be honest, just for the ascension or for the breakthrough. Sorry. There's always good if you don't have a finish eye. Okay, Kafka, yeah. I think that's it. I don't think we got another five star, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, so that's not bad, I guess, but it's not great. We want a six star. Nope, again. Another five star. Jane, at least we're getting all these new units. Mia. Okay, that's new. I haven't seen her before. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for the Kylie Banner, uh, just for the Temple, at least. Um, so let's just see what we can get from this. Come on. No, nope. have a 5 star again. One 5 star as well. And it was a dupe, who did we get? Okay, we got Louise. Or Louise. Great. That's not good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go again. We're gonna go for the singles now. No, we don't care about the blues. Blue again, no. Oh my God, my luck is terrible right now. Purple, we don't really care about the puzzles either. Miss Blank, okay, that's a good dupe. No. Our luck is looking really, really bad right now. No. Brock dupe, last one, here we go. Please, game. Oh, we got a five star. Well, <laughs> okay. Benny and Kuro. This is a new. I haven't seen this either. Okay, very cool. Uh, it kind of sucks that we didn't get a single six star throughout like 34, 35 pulls. That really sucks, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Also subscribe if you are new. Uh, the Alchemy Star videos are actually popping off right now and I'm really happy um, because I'm really, really enjoying this game and I want to make more content on it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.